Before this video start, I would just like to give a huge, huge, huge thank you for your service to all, to all of the servicemen and women that gave their lives, that is putting their lives on the line right now, today, for this country. Happy Memorial Day from me, my family, my St. Augustine grass, my Bahihi grass, and from everybody who support this channel, this country, and let alone this world. We need more love out here. Thank you for your service. Happy Memorial Day. Long time coming. Welcome back to another episode of Long Time Coming. And today, today's the day. Today is the day we're going to do it real big. As you guys can see, I got Big Daddy out. I had to sh sharpen Big Daddy blades, which was a pain in my um, behind. Also, had to fix, as you know, the personal pace on the Big Daddy, which I did. So that's all, that's all set, the cable just a little loose and everything. So we're all ready to go with that. Today, I am going to cut the old Bahi Bahai, Bahai Bahia, 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 huh, one of the two. I'm going to cut it low and I'm going to detach. That's my plan today. And I'm going to oversee. Oh, ooh, wait, let me show y'all this. This right here, this the good stuff right here. Let me get a little close, show y'all some of this real action here. Yeah, let me get a little close to you. Look at this right here. This is 100% mm, authentic Argentina Bahia seed. Argentina Bahia seed? Argentina Bahia seed. This is going to go down today in the backyard in that area that I had that wild Bermuda growing. I'm gonna lay it down there and then I'm gonna just oversee the rest of the backyard after I detach. Oh, sorry. I want y'all to check this shirt out right here. Bang, let me show you this back action. Boom, boom. That right there, Suncoast Fencing. My buddy Joe, them over there, them guys over there, excellent, great family. I haven't been around for a long time. This company been around for a long time. I'll show you guys when we get to the back. My fence, if you're looking for fence work, anywhere here in the county, screw it, anywhere here in Florida. I even go above that. Anywhere in the nation, if you want some fence work done, you get Suncoast Fence in the shop. Let me show you guys this number right here, that number right there on the pack. Oh, yeah, boy, I look like the rock. 386-341-0191. Call him up. Ask for Joe. Tell him B. Davis sent you. Don't you know? Oh, I spit bars. All right. Let me smell this. Oh. Ooh. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all this drip. Look at this drip. Mm. They see me rolling. They hating. Look at that drip. Oh, smells like success. Oh, now I got it all on my hand. Let's go get them. Bye. All right, so I got an issue. I went to go start the Time Master, and still the self propel would not go. So something I did wrong in there. I pulled the string, lifted the back, the back tires up, wheels move, put it down, wheels don't move. 
um, so I don't know if that cord is too long I don't know if the tension is too tight on it but as stressful as that is I got to keep the show going so now I got the 22 incher out here and we're gonna go ahead and cut so we can deep that to get the ball rolling here we got my nice new shirt it's all dirty now ah uh, the stress of your lawnmower not working Cut low. Some spots a little lower than others, but that's all right. I am scared out of my mind, but I trust the system because I did it before. If you if you trust the system, the system will trust you. All right. Now. All right, now that the grass is deep thatched, let me show you. See all that thatch? All that old dead grass that was sit sitting on top of the dirt. My grass couldn't breathe. I got it, I got a lot of it up. I still got some areas that's a little loose, but I'm not gonna stress over that. Now that the grass is all deep thatched, you can see how it looks. I go back through with the lawnmower and I pick all that thatch up. So that way, I need to see grass and dirt. Grass and dirt. Grass and dirt. Grass, grass and dirt. Grass and dirt. Grass, grass and dirt. Grass, 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 grass and dirt. I'm tired. <laughs> too old, that's too much for me. For them young kids. So now I'm gonna go through and pick it all up. And then we're gonna see, baby. That's how you do it. Look at that. It's low, 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 but is it real low? <laughs> so, I cut low, I detach once again. I need to see the dirt, which I do a lot better than what it was. And then I went back through with the lawnmower and picked it all up. That's the easier way to rake and everything. So now, I think it's time to seed. So, let's get the spreader and do some seeding. All right, so now the fun part begins. This section here that I had wild Bermuda growing, what I wanna do is I wanna scrape some of this out like so. I wanna clean it. I don't want that top layer of dirt to be to be stuck on here. So I'm gonna clean it a little bit. Make sure that we can get most of this wild Bermuda out. And as you can see, I still got some pieces here of wild Bermuda. Uh. 
that's forming. So I'm gonna have to get all this out. I'm gonna have to scrape all this up. Cause I don't want any of this to mix in with my grass seed that I'm putting down. So that's what we're gonna have to do. Get it all up. So what I decided to do is I got the old detacher and this little square here I just detach it real low because some of that wild Bermuda is up under there the roots are still growing so I want to make sure that I get all that up because once I see I do not want any of that wild Bermuda to germinate back again so I set it low about to go over it detach it let it pull up the dirt that's fine let it pull up all them roots and everything let it pull up all that um, wild Bermuda too here we are all that all them roots and everything cut them up killed them pulled them out and I believe it might be looking good got a few spots over here that I'm gonna get if I can get that with the spray if not just hand pull them. a lot of them I think we're ready to rock let's do it but before I do that I mentioned to you guys earlier about the boys and girls down there at Suncoast Fencing. Uh, I just want to show you guys. So, I got my fence done. Here it is. I got my fence done um, almost about a year ago by Suncoast Fencing. Joe and, and the whole team down there. Look at this. Look at this fence. So, y'all think it's a game. Let me show y'all how it's even. Look at that. Let me show y'all how even that is. That's perfection right there, baby. You don't get more perfect than that. This is it. This is black aluminum. Four foot. Because here, in my HOA, since we're on the water, the crappy water, we have to have black aluminum four foot fencing. But this is it right here. Oh, oh. What do we see over there at, at old Slim Stumpy? That Stumpy house. Suncoast Fencing also. They wanted to go with the eight foot white vinyl, which then dropped down into the black four foot there. Suncoast Fencing right there. And then we went all the way around. All the way around. Excellent job, excellent job. Suncoast Fencing. Pause it right here if you want to call them or if you want to get them. I said anywhere in the country, I mean, but maybe that's a stretch, but who cares? They're good people. They'll find some way to get it done, baby. Might be a little bit more, but they'll get it done. All right, so now that it's detached, um, a lot of the roots and everything is up. A lot of the, the that wild Bermuda is still up. Still got a couple here and there. Not going to stress over it. Now, what I want to do is take. Uh, wait a minute. Take some of this dirt. I want to just lay a little bit of that fresh dirt on top. You know, give it like a nice even level. You know, um, not too much because we got we got some, but at least just a little bit. like that there we are and now what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna put this in a spreader because there's no point because it's not a big space it's a small space but I want to get some and I just want to drop it just sprinkle it all over here I'm not worried about it I want to I want to get it in I want to get it in I want this whole area to germinate real good try not 
to step in it. I want this whole area to get some. I got enough. I got enough. I need it to grow. I need it, like CT said, I command you to grow. I command you to grow. That's what I'm doing. I'm commanding you to grow. Think that? Let's do it. Now, I'll take a little bit more of the dirt and I'll just sprinkle it on top. Give it a little cover, give it a little shade. We're gonna water this in, of course. But some fresh dirt never hurts anybody. All right, now that that area is seeded, seeded, overseeded, seeded, whatever, you know, grass seed is down. Uh oh, it punctured the bag. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I messed up. Oh. Oh. That's all right. Now, I'm going to put the rest of this in here, and I'm going to just overseed the backyard. Um, settings. So, this is this is a broadcast spreader. This is the Chapin broadcast spreader. Once again, I bought it off Facebook Marketplace for cheap. Um, 60 bucks from a guy. Actually, actually, I bought it the, the, the very next day after we had our DYI uh, in Orlando back in February. I bought it the very next day as soon as we left. Um, the, guys, the, the guys were talking about grass. I said, man, I need me a lawn spreader. I need me a fertilizer spreader. I got to get it on. So he had this on Facebook Marketplace, 60 bucks, bang, you know, awesome, awesome. It got the little lift there, the little edge guard there too. So it's recommended that you set this spreader if you're overseeding for anywhere between 21 and 25. That's down here. This is the little arrow, 21 to 25. Um, so let's, let's put it at 21. Let me set this down because I want you guys to see. I want you guys to see how this opens. See that? That's a lot. That's a lot going down at 21. So I don't think 21 is, is, is the good setting. I'll open it up and the whole thing will just fall down because they're little seeds. So it's better to go light. It's better to go low and just take your time, do a couple laps, then to have it set at this and just do it one quick swoop. So, I'm gonna see what 11 looks like. I don't like 11, I'm gonna go lower. Let's see what five looks like. Five might, five might be right there. Five might be there, but I'm not in a rush. I have nothing to do today. I mean, besides washing some clothes and getting ready for the week. Um, but I want to take my time on this. I set it at one. I set it at three. I think three is it. Three, what we're going to go with. We're going to take our time, go around, do a couple passes, and then we'll adjust. So since I already poked a hole in the bag here, I might as well finish opening it. Pour the rest of this in. We're gonna get this down. Open the bag up. Don't need that. Let's go. 